but right. but I take that back. No, no, no. It's some people that are heavy on structure, right? But then there's a category of people that are just on colors right now, and ain't nothing wrong with that. You know what I'm saying? Ain't nothing wrong with that. I got some people that's I love their colored dogs. I mean, the dogs I got aren't just regular standard colored dogs. They still exotic colored dogs, but right. the Isabellas and the Fluffies and stuff like that. Th those dogs are um a little bit um a ways from being structured the way I want them to be, and it'll happen. It's it's gonna happen. You know what I'm saying? As long as they keep you know going going at it but i i want a dog to look like fucking mike tyson or bo jack right that's what i want i mean because you got to think the more structure side should have more longevity for a dog versus something that has crazy color because in snakes like there's certain genetics where these snakes don't look right like there's something wrong with oh. them you know what i mean so oh, okay and people are almost like nah don't breed that because if you do there's a trait either a wobble or some shit, ah. right now it, it with dogs right are there mm -hmm. certain like lines you don't breed with each other because something like that could happen or like i mean i don't know like can somebody who wants a crazy colored dog can go down a fucking you know, a rabbit hole of like some unhealthy dog you, you know what you know what you know what in the dog shit in the bully in a bully game you could use another dog that's a lot different from that dog to maybe correct some of the things in that dog you know what i mean right so i don't think it'd get worse if you're taking dogs that's on the whole different side of the spectrum Right. You know what I'm saying? Because basically the separation ain't this blood or that blood is is you got these dogs that are like real freaky, exotic looking, and then you got a more standard dog. You know what I'm saying? Right. And um I I like them to be like right in between there. Right. But 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 everything correct though. I right. want his feet to look perfect. Like if you look at his feet, his feet are perfect, right? His feet face is perfect, his breathing is perfect. You know what I'm saying? And you can use a dog like Iverson to clean up a dog that maybe but everybody that's like that they want to stay over there and everybody that's like this want to stay over here you know what i'm saying but i mean it's dogs i like on both sides a lot right. you know what i'm saying like um like um like um who who i like i like i like the homie got um el chapo the homie over there the frenchy man got el chapo el chapo, el chapo dope that's my boy i seen him in his first show and shit so what cities you think right now are like cracking when it comes to dog shows like somewhere where you'll fly out to go tap in at like what are some of the big shows right now for dogs in texas, texas? other than california california got the pop in and shit, but florida's jumping too right but none of them is like cali though right okay but no but texas is getting like it though texas is, is popping right such a big state and they got you know anywhere with a lot of yard and a lot of outdoor shit gonna have outdoor pets and shit. so they, right. they cracking what's your relationship with texas man you and texas go back right yeah man my whole family from texas okay and now we're were you in Texas before you came to San Diego? No, I was in San Diego first, but then I was fucking up and got sent to Texas. I got and went to school stories. out there, right? I went to high school in Texas. Okay. And okay. then I graduated from high school. I came back in San Diego and graduated. And then I fucked around and went back to college in Texas. Right. Yeah, I went to uh, uh Prairie View A and M in Texas. Yeah, that's what's up. Mm -hmm. And you graduating all that? No, nah, hell no. Nah. No, nah, how long got, were you there for? I was there for like a year and a half and got got cracked up there bro yeah yeah fuck my shit up bro and they would let me go back to no more um colleges and shit man and that was in the you came back to the hood it was so dumb came back to the hood right yeah and was that when you started pushing the music game was that or were you already in the music kind of friend, Never was in the music. so it Never all happened when you came music. home from school yeah college. but I, it wasn't nah I still wasn't I wasn't I was I wasn't even thinking about that for a long time after that either though when so when did it start happening no nah, man I was like Shit, it was like five years after that i was just in the streets thugging right. that's it and 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 um that was the that was during a time when the independent labels really started kicking the door and like 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 no limit and shit like that right. you yep. start seeing yep. cats not having to be from new york or or la west I'm, coast I'm, no no on. not west coast oh. no direct cities direct compton cities. got it okay inglewood you know what I'm saying? It, okay, right, well, so you don't gotta go their route to get on. That's what Master P showed us. Right. You can really get popping in the streets and get yeah. on. Long as your name is good, you official, and everybody know you and you outside. And I was all of that. I was exactly. like, oh yeah. <laughs> I'm like, hey, that's right <laughs> up my alley. <laughs> Let's go. Yeah, perfect fit. Straight up. Damn, man, what a trip. Okay, yeah. so let me ask you this, Mitch, because obviously, you know, we we're talking about the moves you make being really wise when it comes to that, but you know in the game bro especially in the streets bro you got to see that you're 
you know, no, no respect to, no respect to the other homies, but you see that you're better than certain people and meaning like, you know, get yourself out of situations that could prolong what you're trying to do. Oh, yeah. And man, you were, I mean, I don't know. I mean, I, I feel like with what you were doing at that time was so street respected to where, I don't know where the, where the mainstream side of it was, but it didn't matter because how big of an influence what was going on at that point in time. But eventually you did start making moves. Like eventually you stood. I remember when you fucking met, when you got put on with exhibit, you know what I mean? Um, strong. No, what was it? What strong was, arm steady. Strong arm steady, man. With Grondon. Feel the agony. And this is when I met Mitch. I mean, as far as music wise, and I was living in Seattle at the time. Motherfuckers knew who you were in Bellingham, Washington. We was coming up there rocking though then. Yeah. I'll yeah. never forget that shit, yeah. man. Like yeah. this is goes back way shit. But I'm saying is like, at what point did you separate yourself from shit that you knew that was holding you back? And like, how did you approach stuff like that? Like, man, I didn't start separating myself from shit that was holding me back to way later, bro. I, I was, man, that's a whole nother fucking conversation. But the music is is tricky, bro, because it's a lot of shit that. See, I don't front. You know what I'm saying? I'm not gonna act like it's all good and everything been straight. The music game is some rough shit oh, bro know. yeah to make it in this shit homie and not even to make it shit once you make it then you can and then it's all good it's worth it but a lot of us ain't made it homie i ain't made shit i ain't made it i mean you know i do what i do you know what I'm saying i could take care of shit but like we still got to work around this motherfucker. You it know don't what I mean? stop. It ain't no stopping yeah so you know but with that comes a lot of stuff because people don't really understand why you uh make people only people frown up at shit they not familiar with bro oh, of no course. matter what it is and there's no way that you can be familiar with my lifestyle and and how i've been living the last 15 years and what i've been and they don't understand the reaction you might can do that but when i do it it's a whole different reaction you know what i'm saying right so you know it's hard just dealing with that when you're around people that don't really understand why you're doing what you're doing because they not they ain't in your shoes they ain't in my shoes and they ain't and, you and they looking at it like maybe you trying to because they don't understand that you trying to slick them or play them or you know what i'm saying some shit like that and and that's what that that's what the rap game brought me a lot of years especially amongst my own peoples and shit but just even on lock matt yeah yeah, yeah that one over. but um i mean because that always what always like made me curious on like you know as, as big of an influence as you were like i'm sure you had mad people rely on you at some point yeah, right? yeah, I mean, yeah, like, sure. did you ever get stressed out about that? Like thinking, like, man, I got a lot of motherfuckers relying on me to do shit with this. You know what I mean? Yeah, because a lot of homies, we was just a few years prior to that, we was in the trenches together. No, you know you had I mean? homies dying, you had homies locked up. I mean, you talked about it in all your songs. You yeah. know what I mean? I, so, so they would think that maybe you know they might the homies might see you on TV with 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 exhibit or the game or or whatever, and to them, they they um the nolly on 22s you know 2003 that shit was crap hey, hey 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 look look you can't lie about that that's real life huh nolly on 22s oh man that's yeah. a, oh man that was not oh, happening no, I'm a, i was I, I you know i'm gonna stay in something right i'm gonna stay in something but just because you got to the new shit on some rims don't mean that you got enough money to feed Everyone 30 else. motherfuckers bro you know right. what i mean you yeah. know and and if you was in the in the trenches with 30 motherfuckers which one of them is gonna feel like they des don't deserve the to be one of the no not the envy oh no this is your real homie you was in the trenches with right and they're in jail and they're you know for doing whatever y'all did you got away they went to jail right all for the same shit or whatever the fuck. and but it's 30 of them right I mean, there, so, was, there was a point in your life where you weren't even. <laughs> it's thirty of them. There was a point in your life where you weren't even allowed to be around certain people. Like there was a gang injunction, which like was new to San Diego. Like you were in I was part the of that first era. person they put on the gang injunction in Dago. It's a California that. gang injunction, bro. I mean, for people who don't know what that is, can you kind of explain what it what the California gang injunction the Cali is? The California gang injunction is a gang ordinance that they made up in California, like probably like ninety seven or some shit. And it said that uh, regardless of whether you've been in jail, being convicted, even if you're a juvenile, we can put these restrictions that we have on you that prevent you from doing like a hundred motherfucking things. And you can get put on this list just from hearsay, right. not even from convict being convicted of anything. They can just put you on this list. They go around to the neighborhood 
and 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 they sh they show like 24 people i think this thing and they sign a petition to say that you know to some old lady hey you want these bad kids off the street that he went to jail for this this, this they just or whatever that easy so you now you're on this list the community signed on it and you can't hang here you can't be with these people you can't have for us it was shit like you can't have a pit bull you can't have a water gun you can't wave somebody down on the side of the street all these things could be penalized with me violating this thing that we was on and this held me to so many restrictions for like damn near my whole career until just maybe last year they just say they got rid of this shit right now man shout out to damn. Um, a lot of the um you know a lot of people in the community that fought for this stuff you know what i mean but man it, it, it if it wasn't for that shit, man it was so much more shit i could have done my whole career right but this shit really which, come on man they saying i can't be with my friends in my own neighborhood right now the homies don't understand that all the way to where when you gotta really live by that shit. but if you got a contract with somebody that's expecting you to be somewhere or be out i can't be going to jail on the weekends for even if it's three or four days and shit like that yeah so you know damn that'll, that'll keep you away thank you for watching this week's trap talk clip don't forget to like subscribe hit that notification bell drop a comment if you're looking for exclusive trap talk content go to the very first link in the description below join the trap talk patreon family as soon as you join the patreon family you get a link to the discord which will tap you in with over 160 trappers i'll catch you here for another trap talk clip and i'm out Cheers.